and welcome to Up North Tactical Recreation. Today we're going to continue on the 1994 Articat 700 Wildcat EFI. Uh, we're going to check the throttle position sensor. Uh, so we'll go over here, we got some stuff set up. This is a fairly easy test. Oh, well, good. All right. So this is where your throttle position sensor is. You'll see this module right here and basically the best thing to do is to unscrew that take it off and then you can either extend the wires on the harness a few inches or you can actually break into the white line how it works is the ECU sends a signal a certain voltage around 5.4 volts from the ECU through that red wire it goes to the TPS, which is a potentiometer. And as that turns, it changes the resistance, which changes the voltage. And that signal that comes back, so the actual signal goes to the white wire. So what you want to do, uh, mine is spliced because I had to put a new uh, throttle position sensor on it. So all the wires are spliced. I mean, a little bit longer because it's pretty tight in there. So what you want to do is uh, make a small splice in the white wire. I just use... Uh, some wire strippers and just uh, spread apart the plastic trying not to cut through the the copper wire they're pretty thin so be careful like I said you can always take it off it's pretty easy Two Phillips screws back it off take it out unpop the harness and uh, you can do it at the side if you have lots of room so what I did here is uh, you'll see I've got the one test lead it's going to that white wire The negative test lead is on the black wire of the battery. All right. So what you want to make sure you've done here is that you uh, have re relieved the pressure on the throttle screw. Let's take a little look over on this side. You'll see in there, you've got a large band throttle screw. Uh, in there. And you'll see right ahead there, you see the little screw at the head. Back that right off so it's not touching. And also make sure that your throttle line is not jammed. Sometimes if you change uh, the position of your throttle, it'll actually pull on the line, which in turn pulls up on your throttle. So once you've made sure that there's all slack in that, Back over here, we got some, some specs. So. Right. Okay. So, don't mind my poor writing. But basically, the throttle position sensor should be set at 0.538 volts, or basically 0.54 volts, depending on the accuracy of your voltmeter. So what you're going to do with that is that you're going to turn on your voltmeter to volts. All right. You'll see mine is at 0.68 because I'm one step ahead of you. But basically, you turn on your voltmeter. You undo these screws. You slide your hand in here. And you're actually going to twist this with the screws loose. And you're going to turn it until you get 0.538 volts or 0.54 volts on there. That's the first step. Second step, you're now going to leave that alone. You're going to tighten down those two Phillips screws on there. You're going to take your Phillips screwdriver and you're going to go to the throttle idle adjustment and you're going to crank that down until you get anywhere between 0.69 volts and 0.74 volts. All right, so you just crank that down. You'll see the voltmeter moving because it's going to actually move the, uh, the throttle bodies. Once you've got that set to either 0.69 or 0.74 volts, mine's at 0.68, which is all right. Then you're going to crank the throttle. Down here. All right, you're going to crank the throttle, and you should have anywhere between 3.81 volts to 4.23 volts. So let me see here. Got right pack down. And I got 4.18 volts. Release it off again. 
make sure it goes down to 0.68 volts crank it back up again 4.18 volts that's a good working terminal position sensor and basically if you've done this test and you're not getting anywhere near those numbers like you could be out a, a little bit and also make sure that your connection on that white wire is, is good. Alright, you can what you can do is you can put one end on the white wire, do a resistance check to the actual prong on the three plug harness that it plugs into the, uh, the ECU cable. Alright, so once that's really good, you got a good connection there, and you don't have, uh, you're not getting anywhere near those numbers, the throttle position sensor is dead. I know uh, you can get a lot of throttle position sensors the same. Basically, the uh, Polaris is uh, 95. They're almost identical. Just double check them on this line if you have to uh, swap them up because some of these parts are pretty hard to find. All right, so uh, this project is coming along. I'm slowly uh, checking all the uh, components. And uh, yeah, so this is an easy way to uh, check your throttle position sensor. Once again, all you're doing is you're running your negative line to your voltmeter, and then you're running your positive line over here to the white wire, not to the red one, the red one's the feed. I think this is the best way to test this without uh, the harness. If you have a test harness, that's great, man, because that thing works for a lot of different things, not just for the throttle position sensor. So if you have a test harness, or you can get a test harness for around 100 bucks or something, it might be worth your time if you're having a lot of trouble. But uh, this will be a nice quick fix, and uh, you don't need any power supplies, and you got the true voltage out of the ECU. Alright, so once again, from the up north, have a good day and keep on sledding.